Hey guys, welcome back to Vio's Garage. Today we're going to be reviewing this tester, this OBD2 scanner actually, that I received not too long ago. Um, and this is actually a pretty cool scanner. Uh, I did check it out already. I did open the package and uh, it's pretty awesome. So today we're going to be working on this W210 uh, old school E-Class Mercedes. Um, and today we're going to test out our uh, scanner and we're, we're going to see actually this scanner tests um you know check engine light and it has like a bunch of stuff actually you can do a lot of functions with this uh, scanner uh, you can do the you can check out the freeze frame data you can uh, check out the live stream uh, data and you know uh, check the current and you know pending codes and stored codes and you can erase codes and you can actually if there's a you know the code that you get that you're not sure about and what it means or like how to proceed with diagnostics actually this scanner has like a you know a guide that actually guides you through each like specific check engine light code uh, that will help you with diagnostics so let's go ahead let's check it out and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited guys um, this thing is super cool and super handy so this is the scanner I mean it's it came with us you know in a such a small box uh, and uh, you know uh, actually this wasn't here before it was me it was my fault you know I already stained it on accident so but it came really nicely packaged and everything I mean I'm impressed with this thing uh, and it's got literally like everything it's just like a small code reader that you can use and especially if you go like on a road trip or something and you have a 1996 car or newer this thing is pretty handy and I'm impressed by this thing just because it has a live stream data for this car and for any of you who know uh, you know these cars uh, these uh, w210 mercedes they have uh, you know you usually have to use a like a star diagnostics you know like when you try to like uh you know find out what the issue is and why a specific uh, check engine light code comes up but this scanner this small scan tool uh, has all those functions it has like you can literally look at the live stream data so let's go ahead let's check it out and see how good it is all right guys so this is how this code reader looks like it's pretty small simple and it's got regular obd2 plug and just like four buttons that's all okay um so let's go ahead and let's see what kind of codes we have because this car has a check engine light on uh and let's scan this and let's see what kind of options we have with this uh uh pretty cool scan tool so we're gonna go ahead and grab this and uh, connect it to our OBD2 port and don't pay attention to kick panels out because we were working on this car today it had a, a brake light switch issue so um, anyways let's connect this okay and it's connected as soon as you connect it this scanner comes up okay sorry for the glare so scanner comes up and then obviously you know have to grab our fancy key and we're gonna put it to the on position okay by the way this car has 218,000 miles it's amazing uh, pretty cool stuff so uh, so what we need to do is we see uh, see what we see diagnostics so we go to diagnose see it has dtc lookup uh voltage test option about so we're gonna go to diagnostic and we're gonna see what it shows us okay so check in the light status mill status on okay monitor okay ignition type spark okay let's go to let's click on this click okay and then it gives us options okay so this is really cool it gives us read codes so we can read codes as pending or stored okay no codes are stored but then we go back let's go to pending it has no code so this actually is so they, they probably reset the battery on it so it has no check engine light right now but it used to and 
we go back here this is actually you know you can erase codes and this is really cool this is a live data okay so we're gonna click on that it's pretty fancy i mean for this car for this mercedes it's pretty amazing how it has all the all these options um so okay so as you can see we have everything it has a bunch of stuff so we're gonna um crank this car up right now okay engine is running so dtc uh so it has it says uh let's see fuel system it says closed loop fuel system to closed loop um and then the load okay it's the load right now so if i give it fuel the load is gonna change and then engine coolant temperature 83 degrees of celsius okay that's pretty much where it's at um then let's go this is actually pretty cool this is your short term and long term fuel trims okay so this has you know all these pretty cool things right here long term fuel trim short term fuel trim for both banks because this is a v6 engine um and then you know it has uh, it has everything i mean R rpms obviously map and then temperature sensor mass airflow sensor so let's get fuel right now and let's see how this mass airflow sensor data changes okay so there you go you had some change right there um, let's see this should be a throttle position yeah that changes right there i mean it's it's pretty handy honestly and then what this is right here this, this is the your o2 sensor data so this is pretty cool and neat again sorry for the glare um it has o2 sensor bank one sensor one uh, as you can see it's oscillating that's how it's supposed to be and uh, yeah it has o2 sensor data which is pretty cool for such a small scan tool i mean i'm impressed by this thing honestly um wow and it doesn't really require any maintenance it just plugs in that's it okay and then there was also a lot of other options with diagnost in the diagnostic section it was giving you freeze frame data and uh, a bunch of other things so uh, i'll just run you through that really quick um, let's see so mail status as freeze frame uh, it's not gonna have nothing because uh, the battery was reset uh, vehicle info it has component test right there this is actually pretty amazing look it has component test uh, oh it looks like it's not supported on this car uh, with two sensor yeah, look it seems like it can it gives you options to test the o2 sensor um nope uh, maybe not on this car okay so now let's go to the dtc lookup okay so let's say there's a code and you need help with the code so you can enter your car right so we're gonna enter bends uh, after you enter bends you can you know right here you can go to your codes it's p then click ok and then go to the next one uh like what is it let's see p0300 let's do random misfire code let's see what it shows us and put value the trouble code Hmm. I wonder why it's not doing it. Let's try P0301. Sure 
why it's doing that but uh yeah i'm still learning this this is a new scandal to me you know um but just uh me as a guy uh who loves working on cars and stuff i mean i think it's just pretty cool that this cable has options for the live stream data and it has options for the freeze frame i mean that's pretty cool and especially that the live stream data has options for the long term and short term fuel trims and uh o2 sensor data i mean that's pretty amazing especially for the car like this you know um because i do have a snap on various scantle so that uh is not really friendly with this car uh but i think this is actually pretty awesome especially for someone you know uh who just wants to know oh i got a check engine light on you know if i want to you know go ahead and do it and just find out what kind of code i got or why or when and how i got it. you go to the freeze frame data and obviously check the codes this is this is a an amazing tool to have so um, let me shut this off and take that out all right, so if you guys are interested in this thing, there's going to be a link down below that you can find out more about the scan tool. And uh, yeah, I'm honestly really impressed with this thing. And uh, I think you guys should check it out and find out yourself, uh, you know, how good this thing is. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my channel. Lots of playlists and videos coming up like always. And um, thank you for your support. Take care.